Hi. Now, quite often we're asked to express sine to the power n of theta or cos to the power n of theta in terms of either the form cos k theta or sine k theta. In other words, in multiple angles. And I've got a couple of examples of this here where I've got cos to the power 5 theta expressed in terms of cos 5 theta, cos 3 theta and cos theta. And another example here, sine cubed theta, which is identical to this expression here in terms of sine 3 theta and sine theta. Now, to be able to do something like this requires the use of some identities. And that's the purpose of this particular video, to introduce you to these identities. So to do this, what we'll do is we'll start off with the complex number z equaling cos theta plus i sine theta. Now, if we were to look at z to the power n, z to the power n would be all of cos theta plus i sine theta to the power n. And we can use de Marva's theorem for this, and I'm assuming you're familiar with de Marva's theorem. If not, just check out my website, examsolutions.net, for this particular theorem. But what it, we can say is that this is the same as cos n theta plus i sine n theta. Now, that gives us z to the power n then. And we'll call this equation 1. Now, if we look at, say, z to the power minus n, then this will obviously be z, all of z, cos theta plus i sine theta. But now this is all to the power minus n. And similarly, by de Marva's theorem, we therefore have z to the minus n is going to equal the cosine of minus n theta plus i sine of minus n theta. Now you should be familiar with the result that the cosine of a negative angle, let's say negative alpha, is equal to the cosine of just alpha. And you should also be familiar with the result that the sine of a negative angle, let's say minus alpha, is equal to minus sine alpha. Now that means that therefore z to the power minus n must now be equal to the cosine of n theta, cos n theta, and then for this term here, it becomes minus i sine of n theta. So if I was to call this equation 2, then what I'm going to do now is look at adding 1 and 2. Let's just put 1 plus equation 2, okay, see what it gives us. Well, we'll carry on down here, okay, so just border that off there. So if we add 1 and 2 together, we've got z to the power n added to z to the minus n. So z to the power n plus z to the power minus n. That is exactly the same as z to the power n plus 1 over z to the power n. OK? And if we add the two equations together, we've got cos n theta plus another cos n theta. Well, that's going to be equal to 2 cos n theta. And if I add i sine n theta and then minus i sine n theta, if I add those two together, that comes to 0. So we're just left then with just 2 cos n theta. Let's call that result 1, OK? It gives the result here 1. Now what happens if we do equation 1 minus equation 2? Let's have a look and see what that gives us. And we'll call that result 2 then. So for result 2, we've got 
z to the power n minus z to the power minus n. z to the power n minus z to the power minus n. Or basically, z to the power n minus 1 over z to the power n. Well, again, if we look at this, this time cos n theta minus cos n theta gives us 0. And here we have i sine n theta minus minus i sine n theta. So that's going to be two lots of i sine n theta. So I have 2 i sine n theta. Now this is a result that I want you to try and learn. Okay, It is important that you learn it. Generally most formula books, books of tables, don't tend to have this result in. So as I say, do take a note of this. Now, we're going to look at a special case of this. So if we look at a special case, a special case of this is when we let n equal 1. When n equals 1, you're going to have z to the power 1, or just simply z, plus z to the minus 1. So we'll have z plus z to the minus 1. In other words, that's simply z plus 1 over z. Well, replacing the n here with 1 just gives us 2 cos theta. 2 cos theta. And if we look at replacing the n in this second one here with 1, we get z minus z to the power minus 1. In other words, that's equal to z minus 1 over z. And that's going to be equal to 2i sine just simply theta. So we've got 2i sine theta. And again, this is a result that you do need to remember. So we'll just box that like so, so that you can try and learn that. Now in my next video, what I want to do then is show you how we can use these results, okay, to express then things like cos cubed theta or sine to the power 5 theta in terms of multiple angles. So I hope you'll have a look at that and uh, that brings us now anyway to the end of this particular tutorial.